takes place about I would say ten years. Ten years ago in the past there was a child who was born just like any other child who's born. Nothing special. Don't even remember his parents name. I remember what happened to his parents name. It was it's quite savage. It's quite savage the things that story in the newspaper ran for weeks you know how the boy was found covered in blood entrails eyeballs pieces of body parts just all over him right room so what the fuck happened who eviscerated and shredded his parents into bits in front of him and left them there to witness this and then just left no no care in the world and dial 911 see what happened was what had happened you know, the stench from the, you know, body parts and shavings, basically, human shavings, just purified human flesh all over the walls, just, you know, was pureed, I should say, not purified, but pureed, pureed human flesh. Like, if I was making some fucking peppers and mixing them up in the processor for the pot sauce and just boiling and you see all this red stuff with like chunks that's kind of like what was flashed splashed everywhere and he was like covered in this when they found him like maybe two or three weeks later you know because they said like the stuff was stuck to him like it took hours and hours for them to actually get him clean the house they just burned down because it was just disgusting and terrible and nobody wanted to take this job right so you know they never knew what happened child never spoke he was only like three years old when the shit happened so he never said anything you know they couldn't get anything out of him they didn't want to torture the poor kid they just assumed some fucked up really terrible people came in there with some types of tools shredded his parents in front of him and left without stealing anything or disturbing anything it was just weird it was baffling people didn't understand it we didn't understand it. nobody understood it i just remember living not too far away from the house before they burned it down I was one of the first people that was like yeah burn that motherfucker the fuck down i don't even want to see that shit when i look out my window over yonder down by the river there so you know town came together we got rid of this shit i can't remember the name of the town i tried to strike this whole entire story from memory but i was asked i was asked to to teach and talk and tell and things have changed now stuff has gotten worse thought that by moving away i would never have to deal with things that i saw back then after after they removed him from the house i mean Honestly, there wasn't really a whole hell of a lot to burn once they took the kid out of there. Most of it just kind of fell in on itself. It was weird. It was strange. It was almost like the only thing holding it up was that child. Like some mind control or dream. Or maybe he just didn't want to let go. You know, everybody thought he was traumatized. But there was something about that kid. You know, I remember the day I was there in my house. And brought him out. I was concerned. Neighbor called. Didn't see them out there for like a week, two so, you know, 
I was with, notified the authorities. So I met them there at the house that day, and the door was open. The stench. Oh, the stench was unbearable. It's unbearable. unbearable. Among his parents, all the pets had been killed in the same brutal, savage manner. It's blood, guts, animal parts splattered everywhere. Almost hard to tell what animals were which or what types of animals they were had there not been like whole tails or parts of heads that you could identify the animals by. You would just have seen fur and blood and entrails and bits of bone, teeth scattered everywhere. It was it's horrifying. It's horrifying. We thought to ourselves, what, what type of human does this? And that's what we thought. Some sick human had had done this. But we were we were wrong. We were wrong. We didn't quite get it until it was a little bit too late. See the day we took him out of there, I remember looking at him, feeling sorry for him child to have seen and witnessed this would have I don't even know if I can explain it I would have felt as a human being and an older person I was completely shot something that I'll never forget as long as I live I mean you can taste it it's how bad it was you can taste it it was in your nostrils it was it was in your mouth men grown men who had seen war in Afghanistan in Iraq Fallujah Special Forces, Delta. These are men, men, the menliest of men. Navy SEALs, Marines. Came out of this house in tears, I tell you, fucking tears streamed forth from their faces. They cried like children. Babies, they held each other. I pushed through them, I said it can't be this. That's terrible. I saw him sitting there in the, in the thick of it, the mess and the mash. I said, little boy, I want to touch him didn't want to touch him. I felt he needed to be touched. So I put my hand upon his shoulder. And I couldn't let my hand go. I felt this cold just falling up my arm. I tried to pull away. I couldn't pull away. It was locked there. Was like, he turned his head without moving his body at all. His head just pivoted to look dead in my face. His eyes were blood colored. Right. It's just freezing, it kept moving up and up my arm until it reached my shoulder. And then as it reached my shoulder, I felt fire traveling behind the cold. And it was going, and it was reaching, and that's when I And I was almost feeling as if I was not going to be myself anymore. But someone broke the bond. So what are you doing to that kid? Leave him alone. Holy oh, shit. And I immediately was wondering what had happened at the moment. And I couldn't explain it. It was, it was strange. I didn't know what to do. But from that day forward, there was always this pain. Almost as if something wanted that arm. My arm would move about at night, twitch, turn. Sometimes it would slap me in my face. I didn't understand this. You know, I'm sitting here wondering why I can't sleep. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Stop it! It was a constant thing every night, every night! I grew tired of it. I even contemplated chopping the arm off. Now what happened to the child you say? What happened to the child you say? Yes, what happened to the child? The child was no longer a child. The point that I saw him, I knew. This force, this, this blood splattered everywhere, this seemingly explosion of human corpses. This wasn't the work of any man. Never the work of any man. It was the work of demons and evil. Soon the boy, he was a small child. Apparently, the parents didn't really want him as 
circumstances. The story of a lot of children in the world. It's unfortunate. But yes, they didn't want him. Locked in the closet. And the evil was in the closet. See, they didn't know that before they moved into this rat ass apartment, house, place, thing. Man had hung himself, evil man, to torture children, animals, hang them from trees, and beat them, starve them to death. Nobody knew what was going on. It was terrible. They found the bodies in the home. He used to put them up through a blender, purify them. No, not purify. Puree, yes. Puree them. Some, it was said that he would put into the machines alive small babies. Small babies. They put them in the pee first. Still alive. Prime. 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 Turn the blender on slow. All the while holding, looking at them, taking joy in their pain and their suffering, and they're reaching for him to help them. He just hold them, hold them in slumber until they stopped crying. And he pushed them into the fucking blender and blend them and eat them. It's fucking disgusting. But the land, it was cursed, it was tainted, it was cursed, and the demon named Azazel. He manifested. Blood and guts he came forth from the from the soil, and he made his presence known by first taking the child, possessing him. So the parents didn't really give two shits about the kid, so he stayed away from him. The kid started sneaking out the house, bringing in pets, animals, things he could catch, trap. He trapped them. He trapped them, and he he'd bring them home. Nobody really thought about them, you know. His parents, like I said, they didn't give two shits. I mean, I saw him out and about from time to time. I figured fine, they let him go. But you can blame us. You can blame us. But in small towns like these, we mind our business. We don't care if you're molesting your child or beating him to death, starving him. We haven't seen him for weeks. It's not our business what you do in your house. So don't don't get mad at us. I don't want you knowing what I'm doing in my basement either. So. Don't blame me for giving you your right to privacy and due diligence. Should I have called the police on him? Maybe I should have. Maybe I could have stopped the other man from torturing babies and blenders. But hey, what he does in his business is his business. And it is not for us to judge. Or is it? Yes, you say I'm wrong. I should have judged. I should have done something. To be honest with you, I was frightened. But the evil is Azel. He had gotten a hold of me. He's contemplating chopping my arm off. Remember I told you earlier. That rest we went elsewhere. But I was there with the machete. I said, if you don't leave me alone, I will have to. And he spoke in my ear. The left the ear where he had almost was able to shut the chain. Listen. I spared you. I spared you. I spared you the mercy of a quick death. So that you could watch your family die slowly. So it could torment you. So you could feel as if it was your own. It was not your own. It was always my fault. You bastard. The guilt I have lived with my entire life. The suffering and the pain. The pain. And the suffering. See, I am not like other demons, my friend. No, 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 no. There's no killing me. You can't kill. You cannot replace it. You cannot drown it out with good. <laughs> See, you do not understand my purpose. You don't understand my job. 
what it is here that I am actually supposed to do. And your mind is small and feeble and does not understand the greater things in itself, the realms and dimensions, the balance that must be kept between the eight universes, the eight parallels. Without evil, there is no good. So don't try anything funny. We can work together, achieve both of our goals. I mean, money in itself is easy. Most of you like money, so think of it in this manner. You will be rewarded for your service. I will commit evil. And you will live. Prosperously. Of things. You never have to know of the evil that I commit. Just know that this evil will be committed so that you may live. Know that you're the evil that happens, that I will tell you about later on in life, will be to your benefit, shall I say. Now, we have a task, my friend. See, uh, I no longer have use of the young child. He's in an institute. They have cut me off mentally from him. They are drugging him with so many drugs. It's just, I don't want to get high on that shit. But this is where you will help me. Exactly how is it that you want me to help you, Mr. Evil? I mean, you can do all this shit, sure, never ending, but can't kill you, so why do you need me? You humans are crafty. You have somehow figured out ways to stop certain chemicals that I need in order to access your brain and influence your thoughts. So, you bring him to me, take him off of his medications, whatever, you can even kill him, which might be useless, but it would be you killing him, or would it be to conquer or to save him? You are conspiring with evil to get rid of a child who has been completely and totally corrupted by me. He is three years old. Maybe four now. It's probably four. Now, you know that he's evil. But if you kill a child, you will look evil. Even though you will truly be a hero. Hmm. The dilemma, I see. It makes your tiny human brain just want to brim and explode because you don't understand it. No, I don't understand it, but I do understand this. I'm not fucking killing no fucking kid, dude. It's not gonna happen. Now, if you want, come to some kind of agreement here. What do I get? What do I get? What's the direct connection to me? Let's say I were to ponder, consider, small big consideration. What if I, uh, what if I do kill the kid? What happens to me? How do you make me look like? Hero. Uh, how do you make me look good and rewarded at the same time? I need you to do some of that explodey human shit. I go in there, fucking stab him with some type of fake religious bullshit. He dies. I look good. Money. Hero. Key to the fucking town. New car. Good thing about Porsche 911 Carrera. I might be slant numbers. Classic Corvette, Crash, Stingray, Shelby, 500 GT. Anyway, I digress. Can I be promised things such as this? We can work, yeah. I'm willing. Why not? Shit, I'm not. You said you can't be an evil. Cool. Say it again. Uh, see, you're the type of character that I like. I mean, you understand. I've already taken everything from you that matters. Your children. You've blamed yourself for years. Why not have a little fun? Just a little fun. So what's the plan, man? How are we going to do this? I mean, I say, and I think my idea is pretty fucking good, right? You have him do some of that human explody shit real quick, right? Blow some stuff up. People are exploding. Ah! Slamming and stuff. You make them, like, levitate. So I don't have to, like slice him down as a child. You know, he's floating kind of like at chest level. So then it looks like he's equal to me. And like, make shit 
shoot out of his body so you know he doesn't look like a little kid. Yeah. You know, do your evil thing. Fucking some evil shit. I'll get down with the situation. I don't have no fucking problems. So needless to say, the demon is Azel. He agreed. He agreed. He had no problems with what I asked. And he he did exactly what I what I asked him to do. It was terrible. And I was enjoying watching him like make this little kid do all types of crazy shit. So I kinda dragged it out for a while. A couple of days. Maybe a week at the most. I mean I wanted to really like play the whole hero thing up. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, he's evil. This fucking kid is evil. There is no way that they're ever going to say anything, even if this kid is crawling across the fucking floor with no arms and legs, and I football kicked his ass through the fucking goal line or soccer net, and then shot him with a shotgun several times. No one's going to care at this point, because, I mean, this little motherfucker savage house after house is just like exploding people and shit and picking them up smashing them together into like their heads cracked like a couple of eggs and then their brains fell out still connected to like the nerve endings in their back you like pluck those out like smush them and shoot like brain matter everywhere it's like you went to a nursery oh it went to like a nursery and like he did evil connected kids together made like this giant baby centipede thing it's gross sewn together like their fingers made fingers look like more fingers and it was, it was gross and I came in after watching about a week and a half of this mayhem bedlam tipping scales chaos was out of balance Whoosh. had my little sword made it with some foil paper and some cardboard I imbued it with the powers of good Little baby was looking at me. It's like, oh, wow, what way my wrong? Right? Shooting fucking little baby evil energies, but he doesn't already know that I'm like part evil. Zazel's really working with me. We're all like a team. So, like, I have special powers as well. So, so I shoot like fucking flame out of my hand. <laughs> Hit him. Bow! Little baby fucking falls to the ground. He's got burn marks and shit on him. Burning, starts crying like a little baby trying to trick people. People for like two seconds are like, oh my god, this guy over here with the flaming arm is like smacking his baby. Then some guy jumps up, smacks the shit out of this bitch. Bow! That fucking baby just like exploded mad shit. The fuck's wrong with you, bitch? Fucking kick the baby's ass. So like this guy runs up on the baby, <laughs> trying to kick him. <laughs> Full speed! Fine! Brings the leg back, then his leg just keeps going back. <laughs> Folds over, kicks into himself in the mouth, <laughs> teeth splatters everywhere. I'm like, oh shit, the baby's not done. This battle is about to go down, right? Zazel starts laughing. This motherfucker tricked me. He tricked me. He was gonna make me work for this hero status shit like on some real shit. But I mean, at least I had the half arm power thing going. So like, I thought I was gonna do some ill shit. The baby sitting there, looking at me all evil, like no arms in his sides, no flames in his hands. Right? This is mad, mad as fuck. I mean, he is mad. Boom. No burn marks go away and shit. He's just like looking at me. I mean, he's giving me the evilest eye I've ever seen. Because one of them got poked out, so he couldn't give me the evil eyes. A little evil eye, a little fire coming out the socket. On the other one, we're standing there looking at each other. It's like, do you do you really do you really want it to end this way, baby? Like, this, this might not work out well for you. I mean, my arm turns like this big metal cannon sword type of gym. It, it was some ill shit. Let's put it that way. This man, some big giant metal rock ill thing, shoot stuff out, chop chop, yeah, right. So bam, standing there looking all, 
I'm about to whip some ass. It's like fire swirling in the background, body parts flying everywhere. This kid is still fucking killing people. Zayas was enjoying himself. He's over somewhere else, killing some other shit. And then, then we get to dance. You know, not dancing for him, but like, you know, the baby's like floating back and forth. Still got this evil eye on him. He's like really pissed the fuck off. Boom! He like flies at me, sidestep him, pop, push him over, smack him with the arm, bang! He goes flying into a house, explosion, kids, people dying and shit, it's fucking disgusting, crazy. Leg hits me, across the face, I grab it, swing it back at the baby. Baby ducks, gets hit in the face with the knee though, as it goes down, pow, lays down the ground, gets up. I grab the baby by both his little legs, start swinging him around my head and shit, right? Like, getting the flame going, then I put him in one arm, I turn my arm into like a big, Giant, real big cannon like you see when you shoot the people in the circus. Oh, suck them in there. Then I'm like, boosh! So I'm flying. Like, he's gone. I swear to God, I might have shot his ass in the motherfucking moon. But this little motherfucker was not done. He Hame Kame Hame Todd, some Street Fighter crossed in, mixed Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct move. Flew down there, kicked me in the face. Bang! Face fell off. You know, like in them slow motion shits. Like, I always thought that was just like for dramatic effect. You know what I'm saying? But nah, like, he kicked me. He landed. Bang! And I'm looking at this motherfucker. Like, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I went to go say some shit, my whole face slid off to one side. Right? So I'm just sitting here. No nose, lips gone, teeth just out here. Like, you know, like fucking Fire Marshal Bill and shit. Right? It's fucking crazy. I was upset about this. I was really upset, because Zayas didn't tell me I was going to lose my fucking face fighting this little fucker. But I'm just thinking, like, all right, well, maybe, maybe I can just roll my face back. You know, little baby snatches my face off the ground, puts it on, and starts laughing at me with my face. I was furious. I was furious. I wanted to punch him in the face, but it was my face. I didn't want to hit my face. So imagine, like, the fucked up shit that I had to deal with. Like, I'm trying to punch this little fucking baby, and every time I get ready to hit him, he throws my face at me, like, and I'm like, oh, then he hits me, boom, getting all caught up in my, my raw meat and shit, my raw cheekbone muscle, and little skull head thing, so I'm just thinking to myself, I've had it with this fucking baby, you know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna really grab his ass, pull out the belt from hell, Woof. flame comes from the belt, it's a big belt, huge, people are probably like, no, it's gonna be baby. Yes, I wore that fucking baby's ass out. Wham, 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 wham. Just beating him, beating him. I beat the Zazel out of his ass, like literally. And then, like, people was looking at me and I was like, oh my God, like something came out of the child. And it was like, dude, stop, stop beating him. He's no longer possessed. But I was angry at this fucking baby because he fucking was still wearing my fucking face. So I wore that ass out. In the process of beating his ass so hard, I cut him in half with the belt. Luckily, it was a flaming belt, so he was cauterized when I finally cut his like legs off at the butt cheeks. So he's he's got nubs, fake legs and shit. He's all right. It didn't kill him, but he had my face. Anyway, I got my face back, put it back on, and shit, but it's stuck to itself. Zayus was sitting there laughing at me. Aha, uh -huh. you're a hero now, aren't you? Looking at him. People were looking at me. He fucking cut the little baby's legs off. He was already not possessed anymore. You had to do that. And I'm getting the business for giving this baby that killed my motherfucking people the business. I realized this son of a bitch done tricked me. <sighs> Moral of the story is never trust sneaky ass demons. Trust him. And if you're about to chop your fucking arm off because you feel the infection going up further, just chop your fucking arm off. Don't don't waste time. Do the Walking Dead shit. Fucking you know little thing. Wrap it around. Tie it off. Cauterize. Chop chop chop. Gone. Throw that shit the fuck out. You throwing the trash quick. Don't leave that shit around. Thank you for joining me, Omen G, for another. Now in this bundle, you would find another scary different fucking story. Stupid scary story with an ad that popped in. I tried to stop it, but it was like, fuck you, you're gonna listen to me. But thank you.
Thank you for joining me. I hope you all have fun. I had fun. Have a good day.